Hello, welcome to another episode of Mimosa in the Field with me, Dustin Stock. Today we'll be discussing the Mimosa C5X, which you can see all around me here with the different size dishes. So we're going to go over the design tool, installation, uh, going through the app, and so we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead and we'll log in here to the cloud, and we'll go to the design tool. We'll go ahead and create a new point to point that has line of sight. And we're going to choose C5X point to point. So with the C5X, you have five different options for antennas. It by itself, which is 8 dBi, and then you have two horn antennas, one that's 12 dBi, one that's 16 dBi. Then you have two dish options, which are 20 dBi and 25 dBi. So here on the antenna type, you have four antenna options, the 12, 16, 20, and 25. So if you choose 12, then of course you can see your stats change here, 16, 20, and then 25. You can also do point the multipoint, so let's go ahead and cancel this. Then you point the multipoint. Um, let's do A5C. That's fine. Then we'll go ahead and click here and add a client. And as you can see here, it's got the C5C with a 30 dBi dish, the C5X or C5C with 25 dBi. Then it also has the C5X and the C5, which are both 20 dBi. Then the C5X with its bigger horn and then the C5X with its smaller horn. So uh, the design tool has all of the C5X configurations already loaded into it. You could create your links today to see w which C5X antenna would work best for you. Upon logging into the C5X for the first time, you get the familiar update firmware screen with a beautiful C5X on it. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, update firmware. The cool thing about the firmware now on 250 and greater is that you can download just a regular C5 point to multi point image, and that will do both point to point and point to multi point on C5C and C5X, and still, of course, just point to multi point on the C5. So there's no multiple images anymore. You can just do a quick UI change on the C5C and the C5X. Now that we've Firmware upgraded, we're to the unlock screen. For this exercise, we're going to go ahead and do manual unlock and configuration. So just like you would with any other Mimosa radio, we'll go ahead and type in the unlock key once we have it. So to get that, we're going to go to the unlock page. For this particular exercise, we'll go ahead and type in the serial number. Model type is C5X. Then you get to choose the link mode. You can either do point to point or you can do point to multi point. And it's the standard process of getting a normal unlock key. So we'll copy it from here. We'll paste it into the manual unlock window. We'll hit unlock. All right, so we'll put our password in and save. Then we'll type in our password. And your device firmware was successfully updated. You've successfully unlocked your radio. Okay, so we're going to go through the mobile app here real quick. Of course, the mobile app only works for point to multi point. So let's go ahead and get signed into it here. We're going to do manual unlock for this exercise. And then we're going to scan the QR code of this particular radio. Okay, now we're requesting our code. So now we're going to go and select our G2, and we're going to confirm. All right, so now we're connecting to the unit and unlocking. All right, so the device is unlocked. So now it's logging into the C5X. So as you can see here on the C5X configure page, it looks exactly the same as the C5 or the C5C. If you need help with actually running through using the mobile app to configure a device, we already have a video of that up. So we're going to go ahead and close out of the app now. So let's go ahead and open up the C5X box. So what's included is the C5X itself. And two hose clamps. But also, 
on the C5 Xbox, you have the serial number and the MAC address. So we know how important it is to have both readily available to you. So we put both on the box. Of course, the C5X, you put both hose clamps on. And then we'll come up here, and you can see that it's already mounted here with a flexi mount. You can mount it with a flexi mount or just straight to the pole, depending on what you need to do. The flexi mount, of course, just gives you the extra vertical mobility. That's it for our Mimosa in the Field video for C5X. If you do need more support, though, feel free to go to our support site or visit our support guys on chat. They'll be more than happy to take care of you. So we'll see you guys next time on the next Mimosa Film video.